Hey guys, this is James. This is Danny from TDD bringing you guys episode 184. And we got some more poo poo today to be drinking. So how does this one look different? Just looking at the... Yeah, good question. So last season, last episode we had a very, it looked a lot like a black tea. Little red notes in there. This looks like a bunch of uh, dead leaves that have been smushed up together. <laughs> uh, but actually though, it, it's not nearly as red. It looks like it's more of a of an aged out green. Um, something kind of like what used to be green is now kind of a pale, dark, like little notes of green. A little bit of um, darkness in there too. It looks like there's probably some mixed material in here. So a little bit of blood. So it looks younger. Uh, it than... does look, definitely it looks younger. Yeah, yeah. exactly right. Um, so yeah, so, deal. so this tea is the 2007, uh, leaves look generally small as well, mm -hmm. uh, Kunlu, uh, that was sold by Bana Tea, um, and it is a expensive tea, um, and, uh, yeah, so here we are, uh, Ooh. I, it's been, uh, a long time since I had this tea, so I do not have fresh memories of it at okay. all, so, Good. this is kind of a, <clears throat> so it looks like it's got some age on it. Yep, we're gonna have a more orange snow. than yellow. That's kind of you're, for. Ooh. Mm. What are you getting? Captivating. Captivating. Fruit. Um. More petroleum than last season uh, episode. Season? Why am I saying seasons? Do we have seasons on the show. Maybe we should. So um, more of those green flavors. Yeah, exactly. Younger. But getting more, it's much more on the raw side than anything else. Some florals, too. Yeah, and uh, to James's point about checking on the progression of the age via the liqueur, you're going to go from, for Rop, we're going to go from a very brilliant yellow to a yellow-orange to an orange to an orange-red to a red um, to a dark red, more or less. So, um, for those that are colorblind here, Denny, what color are we getting off of this one? <laughs> this is a, a good, um, I'd say a good orange, right between maybe coming off of a yellow. Okay, um, so firmly in... Uh, now, so clearly that, an orange. So, kind of in that semi-aged category. Exactly, and, and yeah. it, I think 2007 reflects that pretty accurately, so... Yeah. Looks like we, it looks like what we think it is, which is a good sign. Yep. Um, and, uh... Given how much um, how broken up it was, I was actually surprised that there's not as much particulate in the cup. So good yeah, job. there's a little bit less particulate than the previous tea, but yeah. uh, which is good. Let's give it a shot. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Tea leaves in there, tasting it. Yum, eating tea. You don't like tea mm. salad? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not if salad. the salad's from 2007. <laughs> so there's a really wonderful creamy milkiness to this tea that, mm. is, that comes off pretty quickly. It doesn't. It has a sort of sweet, creamy flavor to it, um, almost like an oolong, like a milk oolong or something, which I, I hate to say because it's how shameful such a thing is, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh this is nice already actually warming fruit i'm getting some fruit off of this mm -hmm. uh it has a nice throatiness to it yeah. like i notice it going all the way down my throat it's a good depth mm. a good lasting taste too and a good and a nice sweetness yeah yeah it's really the the sweet flavors really do linger in the mouth How's Much, it? yeah much sweeter than our last episode, I'd say. Last episodes too. Yeah. The more obvious, the, the sweetness is yeah. is more more apparent. It's more it's quickly. more of like that floral um, mm -hmm. sweetness, um, floral fruit rather than like a really dark sweet current sweetness that mm. the previous episode had. Yeah. Really nice lasting. The the lasting sweetness I'm getting is totally James's point. Totally floral. It reminds me a lot of like a young white tea. Mm -hmm. um, really lovely, delicious. So, cheers, cheers. Mm. Getting more grains off of this. Mm. Um, it's still very sweet. 
I, th- I find the sweetness of this tea and the lack of tannin and and peaty raw intense raw poor intensity to be one of its appealing features and i'm not those aren't bad things but this is it's tasting in that regard tasting older than it is um because a lot of those tannins are already gone exactly but the the sort of white tea sweetness that you would expect to sort of drain out a little bit along with that is still there. So I think this is like a really nice sweet spot for this tea. Yeah, really just, the sweetness of this is is surprising in, in a really nice way. Really yummy. It is very sweet, and mm. there are very few tannins, so it would be, um, as far as raw pour that's about this age would go. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is a great tea. I'm already into it. How, so in terms of brewing this out and stuff, we're on what the third steeping right now. Yeah, this is the third that we're looking at our cups yeah. right now. And uh, what's how you know, typical? Of course, a rub who are this custom age on it can go forever. But what's your experience with this one, James? Uh, you know, I don't remember. But uh, the way I expect it would go, I, I expect it would go on for quite some time. Um, the leaves are not big, but they're bigger than the previous episode. So yeah. I would expect to be able to react pretty quickly to. It if it dropped off or something like that. This steeping um, that we're not drinking, but that will be um, poured out right now by James, I'm expecting to be one of the strongest ones. Yeah. We just reheated the water. All the leaves have officially um, soaked all the moisture up. Yep. And you're getting see... a deeper, look, closer to a red color. Yep. So darker. So it not only indicates storage or, or how far along the tea is, right. but indicates strength as well. You know, the. I was going to say, this is one of the most approachable aged raws I've ever tasted, which is too, it's too bad because it's, it's a little expensive. Um, so it, it might dissuade someone who's getting into raw pour to go out there and give this a shot early on in their drinking career. That being said, I think this would be a great introduction to a uh, raw pour. I agree. Yeah. yeah. How is the, um, uh, viscosity in the body to it? Are you finding it sufficient? It's perfect. Yeah. It's not too much. Um, but it's definitely, um, it doesn't taste light um, by any means, so it's got like a nice silky texture to it. It's got a great um, residual taste deeper into um, my throat than just uh, in my mouth. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm sort of experiencing this on a whole body level. Yep. Good energy. Um, the, this lovely. tea is much deeper than the previous tea we had. Yeah, and I mean, I like the previous tea too, and I like the sort of dark flavors, but yeah. this tea, um, you could feel it in the throat, you could feel it in the body. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is wonderful, and this, you know, check out last episode, episode 183, because these two teas are both excellent teas, but they bring very different things to the category of raw pure, and this is the perfect example for how broad and deep the category can be. Yeah. And you guys, all you haters out there on the internet, going on and being like, oh, these guys only do poo DB or whatever, or just raw poor. Well, that's because it's a very diverse category, guys. So, you can... Don't hate the players, hate the game. I'm sorry, actually. Please subscribe. (laughs) Please (laughs) subscribe. Oh, gosh. All right. Cheers. So, this is the uh, one that Denny said would be strong. Yep. Mm, that's perfect. Bringing a little bit more of the just just the hint of that raw gasolininess. The yeah, PD. there's some tannins finally in this tea. Yeah, um, still but really nice. Good and good strong, balance though. Stronger viscosity, and those tannins and sort of that pucker mm. will very quickly convert into sort of like sweetness. Mm. This is an excellent, excellent tea. Really enjoyable. Very approachable. Just a wonderful last, lasting sweetness that reminds me of all sorts of different teas at different moments in the in my attention and yeah this is a tea that that I think to, it, to drink it well demands attention but at the same time brings you to attention in how diverse and interesting it is yeah so yeah you know. and I think this is a tea that can be appreciated by people that are newer because it is so friendly and its taste it's not heavy and tannins or anything like that and it can be appreciated by uh people with a little bit more experience totally 
Totally. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Check these guys out. Bonatee.com, I believe. Uh, or Bonatee Company. Uh, Bonatee Company. Anyways, Google, Google Bonatee. Look up, her up. Uh, we've <clears throat> reviewed a lot of their teas yep. uh, just slowly over the past couple of years. And uh, I think generally speaking, we're quite impressed. Yeah, um, couldn't agree more. So check those folks out. Um, you're going to pay a little bit more money, but... Um, the quality is good. The quality is great. Trust our review that this is going to be a great tea for you to pick up. If you've never had raw pu'er before, get get your notches in that belt. Drink that disgusting young raw um, and uh, experience the category a little bit first and then dive into something like this and you'll be able to recognize, wow, this is a, this is a really tea. good tea yeah. in here. So, yum tea. And so, James, oh my God, man. If folks want to learn more about tea, what should they do? Yeah, you should come uh, check us out at tdv.org. Um, subscribe below. Check us out on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Um, uh, like our mother's projects as well. Um, and love you, mom. Uh, yeah, love you, James. Love you, mom. Yeah, and uh, we will um, see you guys next time and check out Bonnet as well. Cheers.